Hello, hello. Go, go ahead. Well, Cream, um, what's the difference between that and the Mix Master Fusion program? Oh, it's two, two totally different software. Well, I kind of see that you got layers, different layers in that one. But. Yeah, I mean, here you can separate everything by tracks. And not only that, um, I know a lot of DJs were using uh, or are using the, 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 the Mix Meister because um, it was easy. You can just drag the songs in. This is basically the same concept, but you're still getting quality like if you were using Pro Tools. So, you, you know, as far as the time stretching is a lot better, the way the algorithm, uh, the way it stretches out the music when you change the BPM, the effects are, you know, they're night and day compared to, um, you know, a software like Mixmeister. Um, so you're still getting professional quality, but it's still just as easy as, as, as a Mixmeister. Um, so I know a lot of DJs, that was like the easiest way to go was, you know, get Mixmeister and drop the songs in, but you were very limited, especially when you started editing and you wanted to get creative, you're very limited. Here, I mean, like, you, you don't have those limitations. So let me just show you this mix. Like I said, this is very simple. Here I just did some basic editing. <laughs> Let me just delete this and actually show you how I did it. So I did this edit. But I didn't want to run this underneath, so I just used the cut tool. And what I'm doing is I'm just cutting out that snare, right? So I can cut that snare out, and now I can, let's say, start it here, and I'm just hitting the letter D. That duplicates it, and I can move it to the side, basically duplicate it as many times as I want, and create my own new pattern. And because I'm using, I'm using the grid, which is the numbers up here with the snap, it's automatically going to be on beat. So, it's, I mean, it's really easy. That's, that's, that's basic editing. You know, when you're doing music production, you're doing this stuff. It doesn't get any easier than that. You can duplicate things and it stays on beat. So, cuando uno duplica esos segmentos, cuando los corta, se mantienen a tiempo con lo que estás trabajando porque estamos usando el, el quantize aquí so esto representa de una línea a la otra línea representa un 16 de un golpe si lo cambio a 32 puedo hacer cosas más pequeñas so that's Aquí esta canción tiene el trun tun 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 and I wanted to replicate that with the with the top So I just cut the snare and I moved it over to replicate that Y este editaje está un poquito más bajito en volumen que el otro, so, yo aquí utilicé un compresor de otra compañía que no viene con, con, um, con prisones, pero ellos también tienen uno que es de Waves para poder igualar el, el volumen de ese editaje con los otros. So you could definitely use, you know, the other companies, the VSC plugins, if you have them, but Studio One also comes with, with some that you can use to get the levels correctly between one edit and the other. Whoa. 
This song started like with a cappella. And what I did was I took the beat. Let me just take off the effects for a second. So the song originally ended like this. Es el, el final original. So Studio One has a, an effect called the telephone effect, right? It's, part, it's a preset from the Pro EQ. So all I did was I dropped that in there and I told Studio One to turn it on right there. That's the telephone effect. And then I added the auto filter. So ese es el efecto del auto filter también con el, el Pro EQ eh, junto. Ya es, esa parte pues es un poco de creatividad, pero una de las cosas que nosotros también enseñamos en el curso eh, de seis semanas es cómo manejar y manipular todos estos efectos. En el six week course, we, you know, we teach you how to use all the effects, how to do automation, how to turn effects on and off. That's something that we go into a lot of detail, um, which is part of music production, but again, we're giving you uh, the music production as a DJ using the software. I'm sure many of you guys have probably tried recording your mixes in Serato and it just doesn't come out the way you want. Um, so this is another option, um, especially like if you want to create something a little bit more professional. You can use the software and you can take your time. So you can select your songs. You can make the song shorter to fit whatever time, you know, if you want to do 12 minutes. Like sometimes I want to do a mini mix where I want to take 12 songs from one artist and I want to do a five minute mix because I'm just playing, like chopping it up. I can do that here. It's really hard to do that live. So I can go ahead and, and, and add stuff. If you're a mobile DJ, you got to make sure your music is clean. So let's say that there's a song that has a swear and you don't want to have to keep hitting the censor button in Serato. Um, let's say that that said is, it's a swear, right? I just cut it on both sides of it and I hit command R, it reverses it. It's easy, you know? You go in, you reverse the parts you want, and you take the song out. Clean edit. Yeah. So it's not something where you're going to be like, how is it that I do that? And, and the, the tools are here. If you hover over it, it tells you the shortcut. Um, what I recommend is if you're using a laptop, you know, get a mouse, and then use your left hand for all the shortcuts, because everything is basically like on the left side of the keyboard. Like the zooming in and out is the W and the E. Um, and all the tools are one through eight. So if you kind of get used to this uh, kind of style of the mouse and, and, and the keyboard with the left hand, you work a lot faster. This is the last part of the mix where this song ends with a cappella. So I just did a little build up and then I just went right into the, the intro of the song. So, once I'm done in this mix, all I will have to do is go in here, and these are, I'll play these by themselves so you can hear. These are just my drops for, you know, I, I, I do, I put different drops on the mixes, depending on what. It's the mix, DJ Cream Radio.
Estás conectado con DJ Cream Radio. I have those and then I have just the uh, DJ Cream in the mix. And then I have the famous DJ Cream. Mátalos, mátalos, mátalos. So anytime I open up a song and I'm going to do a mix, those drops, they're already there. And if you look at the end marker, I probably moved it. I mean, it's 11 minutes and 57 seconds. So I'm right there where I want to be at 12 minutes. So I edit down uh, Don Miguelo here. This song, I edited it down. Uh, I shortened it. So as I'm doing my mix, I can look up here and I have these markers to say, okay, I'm getting close to the 12 minute. I'm going to pass it. You know, and I try to stay within that, those markers. So estos marcadores me ayudan a mantenerme eh, dentro de los 12 minutos. Eso para ustedes puede ser 20, puede ser 30, puede ser una hora. You guys can set it up whichever way you want. I use the 12 minute mixes. So if I go in here and I just drag the DJ Cream in the mix, let's say here. So right where this break is. DJ Cream in the mix. DJ Cream in the mix. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the music goes down a little bit. The reason for that is there's a technique called sidechain compression or ducking. It's uh, basically used in music production. So hay una técnica de sidechain compression usando un compresor que se usa en la producción musical. Yo la estoy usando para que el volumen de la música baje cuando suene el drop. So I'm not, uh, there's no automation here for volume. It's going to automatically do it. And the reason why it's going to automatically do it is because I took all these songs let me open up the mixer. So all these songs, instead of going here to the master, they're going into this channel, which is a bus. Right? So I just group them so that five songs go into a channel, and then that channel goes to the master. So any effect that I put on that channel, on this bus, is going to affect all of them. So I put a compressor. This is the compressor from, from Studio One. And I turned on this side chain. What this means is the compressor is only going to turn on when a signal is sent to it. Okay, so le agregué el compresor al bus, donde está la salida de todas las canciones. Y le prendí esta opción para que el compresor se prende cuando recibe una señal. Y la señal es the drops. Right? So the signal is the drops. So every time the drop comes out, the compressor set up where it's going to bring the music down. <laughs> 